Mitchell's got it off Elliott. Mitchell's got another kick in. It's ricocheted for Orbison. Still the last tackle. Orbison! Oh! What a pass! Orbison to Mitchell! Tony, let's start with the Latrell Mitchell no try towards the end of the Roosters Manly match. Can we go through that one firstly? Yeah, certainly. The um, situation there was that um, there's a live decision on field of no try based on the fact that the on-field uh, officials believe that uh, Mitch Orbison was in front of the kicker. Um, there was a rebound to Jamie Lyon. The ball was then caught by Mitch Orbison and then he then passed it to Latrell Mitchell, who was originally the kicker. Situation was that uh, the bunker reviewed all available angles and there was insufficient evidence to overturn that. Subsequently, they confirmed the live decision of no try and that was a correct process and decision on that occasion. And in the grand final rematch, that was an outstanding match for the fans to watch, but obviously some tough decisions at some key points in that game. We'll go through those. First, let's start with the Jonathan Thurston no try. Yeah, obviously in close games, there's obviously a higher level of scrutiny around the officials and, uh, you know, no different in the grand final replay. So the, uh, the, the last decision uh, of the game in relation to the bunker, there was a review of a, a live decision of no try for a knock on by Kyle Felt. Um, again, they reviewed all the angles. Um, they determined that um, there was insufficient evidence to overturn it. Uh, the referee was in really good position to make his live call. The ball, uh, they couldn't prove that the ball went backwards, so subsequently they confirmed that live decision and it was a knock on. And again, the correct procedure by the, uh, by the officials in the bunker. And there was another overturn uh, against the Cowboys? Yeah, there was earlier in the game. There was a uh, live decision of try by the referee, uh, Jared Sutton. They wanted to review an obstruction. Now, in relation to an obstruction, there was a lead runner, um, Ethan Lowe. He made contact with Alex Glenn, who was already in slide as a defender. Uh, he hit the outside shoulder of him. Um, subsequently, Morgan received the ball outside and went in and claimed a try. Um, in those circumstances, the contact made by the, um, Ethan Lowe on the outside shoulder, six metres from the try line, uh, resulted in an impediment of the defensive line of Brisbane and subsequently the decision was overturned correctly and it was a no try. And you've assessed one decision that you believe shouldn't have been overturned? Yeah, we assessed all the decisions out over the weekend and uh, uh, in my opinion the, uh, the overturn of the match Gillette was uh, not the way to go. Um, the reason for that was that despite the fact that both his hands came off the ball, uh, I believe he retained possession so it should not have been overturned. Okay, and a decision late in the Titans Raiders game has caused a bit of debate. Yeah, there was. Obviously, as I said before, the scoreline uh, dictates a level of scrutiny on these decisions. Now, in that uh, occasion, uh, John Olive had the ball. Um, he went to ground the ball. There was a live decision of a uh, try on field. The bunker reviewed all the available angles, and there's an angle that shows that the ball is very close to being uh, grounded, uh, and then you lose sight of the ball. In those circumstances, uh, uh, there wasn't sufficient evidence to overturn that live decision uh, because we lost sight of the ball just off the, uh, off the ground. But uh, in all the circumstances, uh, it's appropriate to confirm the live decision, and that's exactly what they did. And there's been a bit of talk about teams uh, giving away penalties in their quarter. Are you still planning to use sin binning in those circumstances? Yeah, look, um, sides have conceded penalties and we've awarded penalties um, where sides have defended their goal line. Um, my expectation is that referees penalise uh, infringements that require it. Um, there's a number of options open to the referee, but uh, the, important about, the importance about giving a penalty away in that field position is that uh, size can potentially score points. And with the closeness of scores in the NRL, um, they sometimes make the difference in game and, and have so over the weekend. Um, for us, if players continue to breach, there's always the opportunity to sim bin. Okay, well, thanks for joining us, Tony. Thank you.